Jess Evan, I have just confirmed that the cross country athlete who was killed here today outside of Moore High School is Rachel Freeman. I want to show you this video we have of her doing what she loved most. She was actually just recently highlighted by our friends at the Moore Monthly. She told them that she loved the sport. She had fallen in love with cross country and she wanted to go to college to major in physical therapy. Jess, Rachel, unfortunately, was killed today doing what she loved most. She seemed like just a vibrant young lady. So many questions still unanswered right now. Abby, what are we learning about the man who was arrested? That's one of the biggest questions I'm hearing out here is why? Why would something like this happen? We are getting some more information on that suspect just in. His name is Max Townsend, 57 years old. We also found this mugshot from several years ago of Max Townsend. Now, police say he was found four to five blocks from this crime scene from the school in that red truck you're seeing in the video. Tonight, he has been arrested on several complaints, including manslaughter and leaving the scene of an accident. And this also just in from my sources, a little bit of a, an eerie connection here. You may remember a deadly rollover crash from Moore yesterday near Buck Thomas Park. A 28 year old man was killed in that crash tonight. Sources confirming to me that man was the son of today's suspect. Quickly before we before we go, I want to show you the scene because it's still extremely active. Here we are. What seven hours later police here telling me it's going to be like this until the morning. Several roads shut down. They say it's simply because the crime scene is so long and there were so many victims impacted today. My first job was here and more. It's bringing back memories being at the stadium and I'm just um, I'm heartbroken for the community tonight. Reporting live, Abigail Ogle, KOCO 5 News.